Hello all, this is Vasvin from At Home. Let us learn how to find out the median of the grouped and ungrouped data. First, let us do the ungrouped data. I have given you two questions here. Uh, the, some values are listed out and you are asked to find the median of it. So when the values are listed out, for median, always remember you arrange the values in ascending or descending order. I have arranged it in the ascending order. Just count the number of numbers. You have 9 numbers in all, right? So your n equals 9, okay? So when the n is odd, okay? It, this is odd number, right? When the n is odd, all you need to do is you just find out n plus median will be n plus 1 over 2th item. So let me do that. So n plus 1 is 9 plus 1 by 2. So that is 10 by 2. That is 5. Okay. So it is the 5th number which you are going to choose. Okay. So from here just count the 5th number. It is 1, 2, 3, 4, 5. So your median is 8. Therefore, your median is 8 there. Okay? Did you understand? So when you have odd number of numbers, all you need to do is write do n plus 1 by 2 and that item would be the median. Okay? So median is equal to 8 here. Now in the second example, I have taken even number of numbers, okay? Same way, uh, I have list of numbers here, but here I have only 6 numbers. So 6 is an even number. As I told you, you have to arrange it first. Okay, now that we have arranged it, find out what is your n. n is 6, so that is even, okay? When it is even, what you need to do is, you have to find out the average of you find out what is n by 2, okay? So that is 6 by 2 is third number. So that's third number. Also find out n by 2 plus 1 th number, okay? So that will be fourth number, okay? So n plus 1, it is not n, n over 2 plus 1, okay? It is not n plus 1 by 2. You have to take the next number, that is you got... Whatever you got by doing n by 2, the next number, okay? Fourth number. And it's average. The average of these two numbers will be your median. So median is equal to, third number is what? 14, right? This is equal to 14 and the fourth number here is 18. So median will be 14 plus 18 over okay so that will give you 32 over 2 and the median is 16 16 is your answer got it so this is how when uh, the list of numbers are given but another type is that they would give you the marks obtained here the marks obtained is given and also the frequency is given. The values and the frequency are given. Okay. So I I'll show you how to write. First of all, as I told you earlier, the marks obtained has to be written in ascending order. Okay. So I have written first two, 20 and the frequency, the corresponding frequency I have written here. Then it is uh, after 20, it is 25 and the corresponding C frequency here. Likewise, I have already arranged it. Now, what you need to do is, this is your x value, okay? And this is your frequency value. Understood? Now, what you do is, you find the cumulative frequency. Cumulative frequency is nothing but summing up the uh, frequency at each step, okay? Initially, it is 6. Then it is, you add 6 plus 20, okay? this 20 so that will give you 26 then you will add 26 plus 24 okay so that will give you 50 
Next step is 50 plus 28, right? So that is 78. Then you have 78 plus 15 will give you 93. Next is 93 plus 4, 97. 97 plus 2, 99. And finally you have 99 plus 1 and that gives you 100, okay? Always see that the total of frequency will match with the last digit in the cumulative frequency. Okay. If you total this frequency, that will be equal to this last digit you get in the cumulative frequency. Did you get that? Okay. Now your N, this time it is capital N because it's the total, right? So your N is 100. So when n is 100, it means it is even, right? So when it is even, we what do we do? We do n by 2, uh, 100 over 2 is 50th item. And the next number you have to take, right? 51st number. So here you see the 50, you just look at the cumulative frequency. Your 50th number is, is 28, right? The x value is 28. And the next number, 51st number will be 29, right? So, you, you take median will be the average of these two x values. Always median you take from the x value, okay? So, the median will be 28 plus 29 over 2. You are finding the average, right? So, this will give you... 57, right? Yeah, 57 over 2 and so your median is 28.5. Isn't that easy? So this is when the x values and the frequency are given, okay? And now I'm going to do the grouped data. So long we were doing the ungrouped data. Now this is grouped data which you are doing down. Here a question has give, been given here. The following frequency distribution gives the monthly consumption of electricity of 68 consumers of the locality. Find the, mm, let's just do the median alone here. Find the median of the data. Okay. Okay. That will do. This is what we need to do now. Just find the median. To find the median, I have rewritten this because since you can see the class interval is in the ascending order only. So I needn't change anything. I've just copied down uh, those two columns. Okay, this is my answer. And I have a third column to find the cumulative frequency. I hope you understood what is cumulative frequency. So first I would write 4. Then it is 5 plus 4. Next it is 9 plus 13, right? 9 plus 13 is 22. Then you have to add 22 plus 20. Next number is 20. So that gives you 42. Next is 42. Add 14. So that's a 56. Next 56. Add 8. 64. 64 add 4. 68. So we have found out the cumulative frequency. If you want, you can check that your cumulative frequency total is right by adding up the frequency. The frequency here is 68. Okay. So they match. So it is right. Now you got your N. I have to do N over 2. Right. See, this is different method where you have the formula. The formula for this is the median would be L plus n over 2 this is capital n capital n over 2 minus the cumulative frequency whole divided by the frequency close it times h okay first i'm going to find out n over 2 you know your n is 68 so 68 over 2 i got it as 34 i got the n value now in the cumulative frequency, you don't have 34. So what you do is you just find the next number, next nearest number in the cumulative frequency. So that is 42 here. Okay. This is the 
value you've got. So just circle this whole thing. Okay, the, just circle this whole thing because we are going to use all these details. The number is 42, okay? And the class interval is 125 to 145, okay? Your L is the lower limit, which is 125. Your N by 2, you already got it as 34. And the cumulative frequency is the previous cumulative frequency, okay? The cumulative frequency, I can say, instead of writing cumulative frequency, you can even write previous cumulative frequency. So here it is this, okay? 22. So previous cumulative frequency is 22. The frequency, the cumulative frequency above this marked uh, column, okay? Frequency is 22. And the frequency, just frequency is 20, right? This value, 20. What else? And your H. Your H is the class size, which is also 20. Now let us apply this in the formula and get the answer. So your median is equal to the lower limit, which is 125, okay? Plus, open the bracket, N by 2 is 34, Minus previous cumulative frequency is 22 divided by the cumulative frequency of that. So that's 20 times 20. So this would get cancelled. So you get 125 plus this is 34 minus 22 is 12. So your median is equal to 137. Okay. So these are the four types by which you can find out the median. It depends like what data is given to you. If it is ungrouped data, you can just arrange them and find the n by 2 and you can get it. But if, you, if it is a grouped one, then you have this formula which you need to be thorough with to do the calculation. Okay. Thank you for watching my video. Bye.